Gaming like a new. Hello, and welcome to the channel Gaming Like a Noob. I'm the noob, and I call myself Sansomi. And if you're subscribed to the channel, I say thank you very much. And if you're not, I say please do, it will help me out a lot. Now, it's Tuesday, it's the Welling United save, and we're going to start out with a very tough game away against Liverpool, and um, yeah, I don't have high hopes of us getting a point here today, but let's... Uh, jump into it and see what kind of players we can use and so on and see if we can stand any chance at all um novak really could do with some rest but do we have somebody to put in there we do have ben knight um or jack grealish should we put in grealish there yeah novak will have to get some rest here now Pena could do with some resting as well. Getting folks as well. Oh well, we can't rest them all, can we? Let's see. Um, we do have Jake Fisher, but he's still injured, so no way. Um, yeah, I think we're going to go with this. Uh, they look pretty fit in this situation here, so... Let's go with this team and uh, hope for the best. It's going to be tough. It's Liverpool. It's away. And, um, yeah, we're going to struggle this season as well, of course. Uh, we don't have the financial muscles to, um, to really compete yet. I'm, I'm hoping that we will one day. But, uh, yeah, as long as we can stay in the Premier League, we can build up a financial situation that could uh, eventually help us out. Here comes Liverpool. And, whoa! It's the bar. So, um, then in the future, maybe we, instead of lending players... Oh, that's right, we have Alex as that right midfielder that we have lent. Um, I wonder if he was injured. Oh well, just have to see until the next game. Oh, oh, good one, we get, get it away. Crazy, crazy, crazy stuff from Liverpool there. Makes it 1-0 for Liverpool. Oh, I'm just going to have to accept that we are huge underdogs today. And that it's going to be very, very hard to do anything against Liverpool. I'm just hoping that we can get some chances and maybe even score a goal or two. That would be great. Um, but as I've said, I'm pretty sure that this is not going to be the most simple game, so to speak. Um, but yeah. We'll struggle on. We'll fight on. As they say. Let's have a look here. Here they come again. They are playing. Uh, they're completely dominating here. It's the same situation as it was against um, Tottenham. Which is of course. Um, Going to bring down the tempo. Stay on feet. I think we're going to be going more, pressing more. And we're just going to hoist the ball up there. And shoot on sight as well. And uh, yeah. We need to try and, and get some chances. And we can't just... Um, try to survive uh, because we're, we're too nil down and, and uh, whatever we do here uh, will end up being quite a hard work for us I just hope we don't fall too far down in the league 
Oh, look at this. Lincoln, that's yours. Yes. Rodwell Grant. Wigget. Fosse. Grant. Wigget. Grant. Long ball. Trying to reach Turney. Not successful. Here comes Liverpool. Oh, good one. Relish to McAllister. Ball up to Lukic, but he can't do very much with that. So here comes Liverpool again. Oh, this is looking dangerous. Oof. Come on. This is not going to be oh, a pleasant season uh, neither. So we're going to be happy if we can survive the Premier League. Uh, now for a couple of seasons and um, hopefully in the future we will build up a, a team that can um, do some some damage and uh, we're going to do even more direct we're going to be extremely direct in our way of playing against Liverpool here we can't do much more than that just hope that uh, Thorn and um, Lukic will be able to salvage some of those long balls. Let's do always press there, always press there. Half time. Pump my fist. Yeah, let's do that. Let's move in and let's see what we can do here in the second half. It's going to be an international break after this, so, uh, and I don't, I haven't uh, made any friendly um, plans or anything. We're just going to be training and hope for the best. And uh, hopefully most of my players are going to get some rests. It's only going to be four players away on international duty, and one of them is Steve Clay, playing for Australia. So, um, yeah, that's going to be interesting. Here's Thorne. Here's Turney. Lincoln. Oh, here's Oscar Thorne. Oh, too bad he couldn't get a real shot off there. Would have been great if we could score a goal. But yeah, it's a game we can try to get those young players in and playing as well. So let's put in the two really young players in there. And uh, let's give... Oh, let's give the goalkeeper an opportunity to see what he can do. He's supposed to be very, very uh, promising as well. High potential on that goalkeeper as well. So yeah. Even if we are getting beaten like a dog here, I think it's still good for them to come in and get uh, first team football practice. I think that could be really important here. You can see that I'm keeping my calm here. I, I could say that I'm quite frustrated and I find it quite... Uh, hard to handle uh, getting beaten like this but um, yeah it is it is what it is as long as we can try uh, as long as we can stay in the Premier League we're gonna get we're gonna build up money and uh, as long as the board doesn't put the pressure on me to become something else than what we are uh, I'm not going to be too bothered, but it's going to be, uh, uh, it's not going to be the, the most fun of seasons to play like this, of course. Here's Martin Turney. Turney to Jones. Uh, tried to reach back to Turney there. McAllister. Didn't get anywhere with that. 5-0 to Liverpool. How sad isn't that? I'm just going to have to accept it, of course, but uh, yeah. Not a good thing. Always press there. We could just get a goal. It would be something else. At least we would have 
felt some progress or something. Not scoring is, is really frustrating. And, uh, yeah. But uh, yeah, we're just going to have to accept it. And uh, hope that we can improve. Hope that there are plenty of teams so that we can get enough points so that we can stay in this division. Here's J Jackson Jones on the run. He's quite quick. Oh, not a good finishing though, but uh, was playing quite quickly there. That's good. Peter, their goalkeeper. Oh, good one, Tony. King, Peter. Hunter, Peter, a long ball. Here comes Liverpool. Come on, Welling. Here they come. Will it be number six here then? Alexander Arnold still playing there, but yeah. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. Yeah, and the draw for for uh, the Carabao Cup has been made. We're going to play at home against the championship team, Sunderland. So, yeah. Going to be interesting. Uh, yeah, we lose this game 5-0. And um, not much um, energy from me, of course. Um, I think that's pretty obvious why losing 5-0 is uh, not something that is fun but uh i'll guess i'll just see you in the next game and so we're here it's time for us to play at home against brighton and uh, yeah we have some bad news i think things has happened toby egan getting injured getting specialist treatment for um dislocated jaw expected to be back in about two weeks so we're going to go with uh, Kieran Dodd there, actually. And have Harkin on the bench as a possibility. And, of course, Steve Clay gets injured as well. So um, I'm not going to be playing him for this game. Let's go in here. Additional focus. Let's go for general rehab. But we want Alex Roberts to be back. Getting folks is also injured. Hmm. Not very good. But uh, yeah. So on the bench, we could use somebody else instead of Steve Clay. I think I'm going to go with Ash McCarry, actually. To have a substitution for Martin Turney if he gets tired or something. So um, yeah, let's play like this. Welcome back, Alex Roberts, into the midfield there, on loan from Southampton. And, um, yeah, let's see what we can do against Brighton at home today. Uh, going to be a bit nervous, I think. Um, I forget about Novak, so um, Jack Grealish is going to be playing in this game as well. We're going to end this episode with a game against the Manchester City. And the first game in the next episode will be against uh, Sunderland in the Carabao Cup. Which is two days after the game against Manchester City. So that's going to be a really tough situation. Um, so, yeah. But let's worry about this game for now. McAllister, Lukic, Roberts, Fawn, Roberts is there again, and uh, is that a corner? It should be, yes. Tony with a corner, floats it in, and there, ooh! Grealish to Tony, oh, come on. Starting out okay in this game, Dodd, long, long ball. To walk Luches gets it to Roberts. Roberts, oh, what a poor finish! Good run, but a very poor finish. Come on, Welling. This is this is one of the games that we 
really need to win in order to stay in this Premier League division. Kieran Dodd has started out good. That's a pleasant thing to see, at least. And Novak is on the bench, so we can bring him on if need be. Turney with the corner, and that's Pen out there, goalkeeper. Oh, he was quick to get that out of the way again. Here comes Brighton. This looks dangerous. Ooh, thank you. Whew. Come on, Welling. We can do this, can't we? We need to. Pena is uh, an interesting, promising player. Here they come again. Oh, thank you. Heading that one over. We need to do something, I think, to, to get this team to work again. I think we're going to go with uh, at least doing this let's just try that for now try to hoist it up towards the the strikers hopefully that will give us some chances half time a goalless draw so far i'm gonna pump my fist now we're on the ducks come on Come on! Let's see what we can do today. Don't want to fall deeper and deeper here. It's going to be a really hard season and we need to win against a team that we do stand a chance against. Come on, come on. 60 minutes played and... Um, Alex Roberts is getting tired. I think we're going to be taking out Jack Grealish and putting in Novak there now. Let's give him that chance to come in. And maybe we'll even go and bring down the tempo and shoot on sight. Let's try that. If we now have that we should... Put it over the midfield and everything and uh, try to reach those strikers up there. We need to have longer balls, I get, I guess. Come on, come on. Ten minutes. Can we get a chance? Tony with a corner. Oh. What? What? A shadow person. Oh, Karen Dodd saves us there. Do you see that player without anybody? He's still there. A couple of them. In the, look at that one. Tate there is without a buddy. Or an invisible man at least. That's weird. Don't like that. But yeah, only seconds left. And... Uh, we're not going to be able to win this game either, but at least we get a point here today. And uh, 25,256 attendance here today. So it's not packed, but uh, yeah. Oh, that's better Chile. We all know, all of us that are following my saves, we know that he's a good player. I have him in the Manchester United save. Hmm. Interesting. How old is he here? He's um 29. Let's put him on the... I know I'm not going to be able to get him, but let's put him on the short list. Um, just to try and have a little look at him. Maybe he'll leave for uh, a free transfer or something. But that sums up the second game. And I'll guess I'll just see you in the next and last game of this episode. And so we're here. Third and last game of this episode. At home to Manchester City. Let's get this over with. And um, I'm going to have a little summary after the game as well. Where we go through our financial situation and everything. And uh, yeah. Uh, Toby Egan still injured. Who else was it that was injured? 
Hmm. Who else? Steve Clay. He's not injured anymore. So I'm just going to keep him off. Like, I think he's going to be getting more, more, more time than Jackson Jones on the bench. So let's do like that. And let's go bring back Novak as the first choice in the midfield instead of Grealish. Keep Grealish on the bench. So, uh, yeah. Let's move on into the game and see what we can do today. We have forgotten to uh, use Pavel Nesic. And uh, maybe he will get to come on in in this game. Just going to have to wait and see. Pump my fist and underdogs. Kick off skip. And here we go. And uh, the city manager has criticized me for using too many homegrown players. And Oscar Thorne makes it 1-0. And I... Talk back to him that I feel that uh, we need to put more emphasis on homegrown players and uh, that uh, me and my players were eager to prove him wrong that it was wrong to use a lot of homegrown players so let's hope we can take three points here today that would be marvelous if we win today, I see that we surpass Manchester City. That's another feather in my hat, if we could do that. So come on, Welling. Here comes Manchester City, though. Crack. Foden. Ooh, hits the post. Thank you. We are without Toby Egan in this game as well. So let's hope that Kieran Dodd can keep uh, a clean sheet in this game as well, as he did against Brighton. That would be uh, tremendous and uh, whew, a very good thing. McAllister, Alex Roberts gets it in there. Oh, Pena gets it to Turney. Turney get Oh, Oscar Thorne was there, but... Um, yeah, they stole it right in front of his feet. Wigget. Novak. Come on. Novak to Arabas. Lukic. Oh, no power in that shot. Come on. But we are... I think we're playing well here today. Could be a point to get Manchester City. Who knows? Would be nice if we could take all three of them. But, uh, yeah... We have minus 10 in goal difference, and that's the big losses against um, Tottenham and Liverpool and those teams. Ooh, thank you. Was that Haaland? Yeah, they have Erling Haaland here. Interesting that they signed him in this version of it. Because this is uh, before he this this version of the game did release before he he went to Manchester City. So uh, yeah, keeping it real. Interesting. So for, we survived first half with a one 0 lead. That's. Um, a good thing let's hope that we can keep it up in the second half and uh take all three points that would be marvelous Twenty nine thousand two hundred and thirty six attendance here today pena with a throw in uh, they get in between there and here they come but no we stole that one back all oh, long ball out to pena can pena get it in oh come on but here comes harland Erling Haaland. Oh, he gets... Oof. I thought he was going to score there. That was uh, some, somewhat of a, a messy move to come from the right side there and then turn into the pitch and then shoot from there. 
That's what oh what I saw Messi do a lot in when he played for Barcelona. The few games that I did see and the few highlights that I've seen from Messi, he did that quite a lot. Coming running from the right side and into the center and then shooting just outside of the penalty area. That wasn't a good one. Oh, this is looking dangerous. Haaland. Oh, good save by Dodd. 71 minutes. Alex Roberts, very, very tired. I'm going to put in Jack Grealish there. Foden. Oh, this is not looking good. They're taking over the game more and more. Uh, which is a bit of a worry, of course. Oh, good one. Lukic. Finding form, back to Lukic, and the uh, opportunity is over. Come on, let's create something as well. Please, Tony is too tired to continue. Uh, Ash McHarry will come on in. Good one, Grealish with a long ball to Thorn. And Thorn, oh, he's brought down. It looks like it's going to be a penalty. I guess VRR is going to have a look at it as well before the decision is made. Yes. VRR checking. And it is a penalty. Who? come on. Oscar Thorne looks like he's going to take it. Yes, he is. Please. Oh, it's a red card as well. Maybe we do have a little chance here. Especially if he puts it in like that. 2-0. 2-0. And we're going to take out Lukic as well and put in Steve Clay. How brilliant. This is fun. Come on, don't let them come back from this. McAllister. Ooh. And here comes City. Oh, come on. Oh, Good save from that one. Oh! They get a corner here. Ten minutes left to play. Oh boy, do I hope we can survive this. Clay, come on. Yes, Clay got there. He gets it to Novak, to Grealish. Grealish on the move. All right, losing the ball there to his old teammates. We get Novak. Novak with a long ball to Thorn. Thorn! Oh, it's number three! Hoo hoo hoo! 3 0 against Manchester City. My homegrown players really showed their manager. I don't think there is any comeback for Manchester City in this situation, that's for sure. 3 0, 82 minutes played. I think I can breathe now. And uh, feel that we have made a really good game here today. Kieran Dodd, how am I going to take him off the team now that he's been keeping a clean sheet two games in a row here when Toby Egan has been away? Come on. Yeah, we get there. Manchester City pressuring us now. And here comes Gonzalez, and he saves it again. Kieran Dodd. 7.7 in an average rating. Maybe Toby Egan has made his last first team game. I don't know. Thorn. Clay. Oh, Steve Clay. What a goal. Did you see that? What a strike. Incredible. Let's have a look at this replay here. Oscar Thorn running a long way with that ball. Giving it to Steve Clay there. And look at this shot. Oh, it's marvelous. It's magnificent. It's amazing. 4-0 against Manchester City. This is what I don't really understand, to be honest. We, we do lose games with 7-0 against Tottenham. And then we make comebacks like this against Manchester City, where we totally demolished them. 
despite them having Erling Haaland in their, in their team. He's 30 now in this game. Phil Foden is 30 as well. Holy smokes. And we managed to win this game. It's It certainly is a marvelous thing. And uh, I'm very proud of my players. Ash McHarry didn't get an average rating. That's weird. I thought he came on pretty early, but not early enough then. All right. Let's move on because um, we are, of course, going to go through the finances and stuff like this. Or like that, I should say. Very interesting that we managed to beat Manchester City. And uh, things are looking like maybe we do have a chance of staying in the Premier League for the next season as well. It's not going to be easy. And we have tried to buy a little Brazilian player here. I'm just going to be racing it here like that. And look at this young Welling United shine against Manchester City. Uh, yeah. Interesting. Oscar Thorne, of course, worthy of some pricing. And let's have a look at the financial situation. 84 million, 5 million in profit this so far this month. We are making a lot of money. But of course, we don't have the team and, and it's still not. I mean, we do have 19 million, but you don't really get any good players for those. those that kind of amount. So we really need to to um, find or a, a, a way to find some good players. Uh, we have no real debt. We have a transfer debt of one and a half million. And the club has paid out off every other debt we had. And we do have some nice sponsoring thing imagings. And uh, yeah, the main kit runs out next year. Maybe we can get some better deal there. But we need to stay in the division if we want to do that. Um, I have gotten through that they are going to increase the youth level again so we're going to go from level three to two i guess we go downwards in that sense um youth level and uh, improved training facilities is almost over so that's going to be done pretty soon improved youth facilities has recently been done and the new stadium is finished this summer so that's going to be interesting even though it's only going to be about thirteen thousand, so we're going to be losing about sixteen thousand um places so um that's not a good thing of course we get captain toby egan vice captain what will grant is key player or prospect jackson jones so uh yeah you can see here we are playing on the Fulham Stadium with a capacity of 29,700. And if we take a look here, it doesn't say, yeah, due to move into the 13,387 capacity Welling United Stadium on the 24th of June 2031. So when this season is over, we're going to move into a new stadium. And we're going to leave Cravis Cottage. I think we pay about a million pounds to rent it, which isn't very much, I must say. So, um, uh, yeah. Let's have a look at the competitions. The FA Cup, I don't think we have entered yet. No, of course not. We are Premier League team, so round three is when we enter. Yes. Carabao Cup, drawn against Sunderland who is a championship team, so that's going to be interesting. And we have only two days. Let's go look here. Only two days, and we're going to play that game. The 24th of September, it is the 21st today. So 
So it's three days, but it's only two days in between them. So, uh, yeah, that's going to be a tough one. And maybe I should go through the team. Let's go into tactics here and pick the tired players like McAllister. Training, rest for two days. I'm going to rest this player as well for two days. Just so that they hopefully are fit enough to play. Penna looks uh, quite nicely there, so that's not going to be a problem. Let's rest him for two days. Novak, training, rest, two days. Lincoln, training, rest, two days. Martin Turney, training, rest, two days. And those strikers look okay as well, so I'm not going to be worried about them. And Kieran Dodd has done really well these two games. So um, I'm afraid, Toby Egan, I think you're going to be on the bench when you come back. The risk is there. I don't know. But um, ah, I'll probably change my mind again when when he does come back. He's, it's, it's a hard... It's the only player I have left from the very first season. Which, of course, is something special. And when he leaves us one day, it's going to be a sad day. It's going to be... I'm going to feel it. Because it's... We have played so many seasons then. We're into season 11. I think it's... We've done some really good things. And, uh, yeah. Look at this. League position so far this season. And we're up to ninth, which is quite amazing. Really good. And I'm very pleased. And uh, is there anything else here? Let's go overview first. Top goal scorer, Oscar Thorne with five goals. Highest average rating is Oscar Thorne. Assist, De Novak and Lukic. Best pass completions is Charlie Wiggett. Most player of the match. Thorne, Pena, Lukic. All with just one. Most yellow cards is Pena with four. No red so far. That's good. So, yeah, these, uh, let's have a look at that, comparison, oh, that's the average, above average, okay, that's the, the ah, that's for the, the Premier League, I guess, we have, and we are a little thinner, or a little less weight than average weight in the Premier League. But, uh, boy, are we after when it comes to international and it's all. I guess that's the average. And we have a very, very low average age. All positions, goalkeepers. All right. We do pretty well. Defense, we are far off. In the attack, we are a bit closer, physical, mental, tactical. This is interesting stuff here. Performances, the board are very pleased with me. So, uh, yeah, around the world, we can see which teams are topping the tables here. Liverpool in England, Real Madrid in Spain, Paris Saint-Germain in France, Inter in Italy. Hertha in, in Germany, Bayern way down. And this is the Portuguese one, but Porto is topping the Brazilian, that's Flamengo. And in Holland or the Netherlands, Ajax. And in uh, Belgium is Gent, or Gent, or however you pronounce it, I don't know. So interesting stuff, and um, I think I'm ready to actually end this episode. I hope you have enjoyed it. Do like and subscribe and leave a little comment down below. Um, 
Stay safe. Have heaps of fun. And I'll just end with bye-bye-bye-bye.